Hey everyone, it's Christine, and this isn't a weigh-in. Well, actually it is, because I did weigh-in. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. I did have my surgery for my tummy tuck revision um, scar. Well, no, that it makes no sense. I had my revision surgery for my tummy tuck scar, as well as they removed more skin. And the surgery went well, and as you can tell, I'm still in bed, so... Why am I still in bed? It was a week. I had my surgery a week ago on f Friday. So, my my stupid butt decided that only two days off was fine since it was just scar revision, and it wasn't as severe as the tummy tuck, which was a very hard recovery. And I went back to school on Tuesday. And then I went to back to work, and I went uh, back to school on Friday, so I was moving a lot. And I didn't listen to the doctor, and I figured since I was feeling great that I was fine. Turns out I wasn't. I started to notice swelling, so I was like, well, maybe it's just because I've been moving too much. I just will, you know, not move so much. And then the swelling got worse, and then on Friday morning, when I was at school, I started to notice that I felt, um, I started to feel really swollen. And so I went to the bathroom, and my incision line was bleeding, and my stomach was so swollen, it looked like I hadn't even had the skin removed. It was just like ballooning out. So I got really scared, left school. Called my doctor, I rushed into his office, and he had to drain fluids. Sorry, this is getting disgusting. I'll put a uh, <laughs> a disclaimer in the con or in the down bar so you know that this is a not such a fun conversation. Anyways, he had to drain out 270 cc's of fluids, which uh, if you don't know how much that is, uh, it's hard, kind of hard to um, explain. But okay, so the syringe was about that big. Not the needle, the syringe, like the the plastic, you know, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. He had to take four of those out of me. So, yeah, that so he, he said that wasn't a lot, but he wasn't, um, he wasn't liking the color of it. Like, the, the blood that was coming out was too dark for his liking. So he ordered me on bed rest for, uh, till further notice. Just so that, um, he said if I moved anymore or got up or did anything or was any more active I would end up back in the OR so I've been listening to him I re I haven't been outside of my house in four days I've been watching a lot of movies and YouTube and that's why I wanted to update you guys so yeah my surgery went great I I was in love with the results but I got overzealous and put myself back in bed so that's what's going on so far I'm maintaining right now at 197, but since I've been um, stuck in bed and I haven't been able to work out or anything, I've been really, really, um, like, been really paying attention to what I'm putting into my body because I want anything that's going into my body to be helping me healing and not going against the process. So I've been eating a lot of fresh fruit, a lot of, um, you know, protein and all that stuff and I haven't been able to take my vitamins yet that I usually do take just because I don't want it to interfere with the healing and my antibiotics so that's what's been going on um, I did want to announce I did set up my fitness pal so if you look me up on there it's Christine vlogs that's my username and I've been logging in everything since yesterday so you can take a check you can check it out you have to friend me first because it's on private but friend me on there and I'll add you and I've been basically putting everything in there. It's like, um, what is that? Other, I, it's like use it, but I like my fitness pal better just because it kind of like tells you where, uh, it tells you like your nutritional values. Like it tells you like how much sugar you should be eating and how much protein you should be eating. And if you're going over those things, I like that a lot more. It's a lot more interactive than lose it. So, and it gives me so many calories, which I don't even, I can't even eat that many calories in a day, but I'm only setting it to um, half a pound loss. I'm not trying to lose weight, but at that, it'll keep me at a decent amount of calories. Um, I'm still counting points, don't get worried. I'm just doing it just to get more of like an accurate reading. And <clears throat> since I'm such a big fruit person, I thought it'd be helpful to start 
uh, counting calories, especially since I'm eating so much fruit, just to keep, make sure that I'm not intaking too much sugar. All right, well, that's it. I'm doing okay. I'm not in a lot of pain or anything. Um, I've been icing my stomach, so hopefully the swelling will start to go down. And excuse my, like, beautiful appearance, but yeah, I've... I literally had to have my mom help me blow dry my hair after I showered because I can start to feel swelling form as soon as I start to do a little too much. So stuck in bed. I hope you guys are doing great and that everyone's weight losses are going amazing. I'll talk to you later. Bye.